But up next, a new FDA procedure for heart patients is being done right here in the Bay Area. We'll tell you how it's helping patients previously considered inoperable. If you join us late for 10 News, you can see what you missed with Start Over, exclusively from Bright House Networks. A huge breakthrough for heart patients. In fact, Dr. Oz says for cardiologists, it's the equivalent for putting a man on the moon. As 10 News reporter Tammy Fields explains, doctors right here in the Bay Area are some of the first in the entire nation to use a new FDA-approved procedure that has given patients who are not able to undergo open-heart surgery a new lease on life and an opportunity for more holidays, birthdays, and, of course, the health to do what they love. And it blows your valve up. Oh, that's amazing. A Temple Terrace grandmother who doctors say wouldn't have lived to next Mother's Day may be golfing and shopping for years to come thanks to a transcatheter aortic valve replacement or TAVR. These are the sternal wires where they close the bone from your first operation 10 years ago. 91-year-old Margaret Siebert had a heart bypass about 10 years ago, but she hadn't been feeling her typical self lately. used to walk four miles, but no, I haven't walked that much in the last year. Two weeks after TAVR, Margaret is back at Florida Hospital Pep and Heart Institute watching how doctors were able to save her life. An actual picture of your valve. Your heart's now beating, and now you have a new valve, and you're ready to go play golf. TAVR is approved for inoperable patients, mostly the elderly, too frail for surgery, or those with lung disease who are battling heart failure. A lot of people look at heart surgery the same as being hit by a truck. <laughs> So you can, the surgeon can fix what's wrong structurally in the heart, but uh, the recovery is significant. The younger and the healthier you are, the shorter and easier that is, but elderly folks have a hard time with it. And you know, previously to, uh, to TAVR, really there, there was no option for these patients. Doctors call the procedure a breakthrough. In the TAVR treatment itself, other than surgical valve replacement, which that started in the 60s, is really the only thing that's ever affected the outcome of these patients. And it's a huge, huge effect. It's on the order of what penicillin did uh, years and years ago uh, for infectious disease. TAVR procedures last only about an hour, and the groundbreaking concept is fairly simple. A lot of folks realize that stents can be used to open up blocked arteries and hearts. But what if you could put a valve inside of a stent? Well, you could put the stent inside of a broken human valve and then expand the stent and leave a new valve in place of it. The day after I came out of surgery, I was bright as a dollar. I, I didn't feel like I should be there. Margaret's husband also had heart problems before he passed away. Had Taver been available, it could have given him more time. The last two years of his life wasn't very, very good. And that bothered me. And I was his caretaker. And it, um, it was heartbreaking to lose him. But it was, he was better off. Now Margaret is looking forward to getting back on the golf course and her active lifestyle. I think I was very lucky that I did decide to do it. And I would encourage anybody to do the same thing. I don't feel 91. And hopefully I will continue to feel that way. <laughs> In Tampa, Tammy Fields, 10 News. Boy, Margaret, you don't even look doesn't anywhere look near. You could have told me 70. I could go play with Margaret. Oh, I bet she, she looks great. She looks fabulous. By the way, Dr. Lampert points out that Taver will not change someone who is sedentary into a marathon runner. Yeah. And all patients should undergo a cardiac rehabilitation. And they will be able to return, though, to doing some of the activities that they would have normally done.